Mastering Cultural Variations in Name Order, an English Learning Guide. Hello, learners. Today we are going to tackle an interesting aspect of intercultural communication, cultural variations in name order. The way names are ordered can vary significantly from culture to culture. Understanding these differences will not only help you address people correctly, but it will also allow you to interact with them in a respectful manner. Let's dive in. Names are one of the primary ways we identify ourselves. In English-speaking countries like the United States, Australia, and the UK, the conventional order is first name followed by last name. For example, in John Doe, John is the first name and Doe is the last name. Remember, in casual situations, we usually use the first name. In more formal situations, we use Mr., Mrs., Ms., followed by the last name. Things get more interesting when we look at other cultures. In many East Asian cultures, like China, Korea, and Japan, the traditional name order is last name followed by first name. For example, in Li Wei, Li is the last name, and Wei is the first name. In Hungary, the tradition also places the family name first, followed by the given name. In some cultures, people use multiple family names. For instance, in Spain and many Latin American cultures, it is common to have two family names, often in the order of the father's surname followed by the mother's surname. As English speakers, we need to adapt to these variations when addressing people from different cultures. Here are a few tips. 1. Always ask. If you're unsure, it's perfectly okay to ask someone how they would like to be addressed. 2. Listen and observe. Pay attention to how people introduce themselves or how others address them. 3. Respect preferences. If someone prefers a particular name order, respect it. Understanding the cultural variations in name order is an essential part of learning English and intercultural communication. It may seem like a small detail, but getting it right can show respect and create a positive impression. We hope this video helps you navigate these variations confidently. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.